Hello, everybody. I'm just about ready to get started. So let's talk a little bit. So we just completed Cao Cao uh, Stage 1 in a long marathon of a stream. But in between, I did learn something interesting I actually didn't know about until literally yesterday. So I have been avoiding the uh, support fire that's capable of uh, usage by the bow units and the crossbowmen. You might recall this occurring in the previous playthrough where it would say like, one you is is being attacked by arrows and those kinds of prompts. I did not realize when you did that as the player character that that actually gave you experience. And it looked like it actually gives more experience than if you just unite attack with the two different units. Which is very interesting. So I think if we are going for a full general kill on most stages, I'm going to try to use that more, but I'm not sure what bowmen we get. Also, I came to the very sad realization about Zia Hao Duan. I forgot Zia Hao Ba. He says it like all the time, but I literally didn't think about it until just now that Zia Hao Ba's father is Zia Hao Duan and Zia Hao Duan is going to die. <laughs> within like two stages. I totally forgot about that. I don't know why it slipped my mind. I was thinking it was weird they gave us a superpower general and I'm like, why don't I re why don't I recall seeing Zia Hao Duan? Like that's what I was thinking on the previous stream then I'm like, oh yeah, he's going to be dead by stage four. Oh. I should probably not give him any experience. <laughs> I mean, literally, that's the only thing I know about Zia Hao Ba is he's like, I will avenge my father, like every single time he goes into combat. And I'm like, oh. So I, I guess in the battle where we're in the forest of the three paths, the name of the stage eludes me offhand. I guess that's the canonical death of potentially Zia Hao Duan. There is, if you remember, there is a cutscene where Zhang Fei duels somebody. But I for, maybe that was Zia Hao Duan and I just forgot that it was specifically him. So anyway, we got to be careful. As the music gets more dramatic. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the game. Welcome Spirit Kitsune, welcome Chris. I'm just making sure the game was taking my inputs there. Yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't planning on feeding him that much experience anyway. I think even when he did win battles, he split the XP. I, I could have maybe positioned Sao Sao a little differently to get more of it, but it's fine. Oh boy, chat, we're in for a uh, we're in for a treat. That'll ruin on. I think this is the one where there was like the open plains in the middle. This the supply ha house was like the far north and south for both armies. The Battle of Zhu ends with Cao Cao emerging victorious. Liu Bei is able to escape to the south. However, Cao Cao has no time to launch a counterattack on Liu Bei. For the hero of He Bi, Yuan Shao is now in position to attack Zhu Cheng. Cao Cao's army returns to Zhu Chang and prepares for the confrontation with Yuan Shao. Let us begin. Outline your ideas for conquering the land. Gotta conquer the land, chat. A lot of the farmland in this territory has been turned into wasteland from lack of cultivation during the war. Let's increase the harvest yields by rounding up refugees to work the land. I have an idea. Let's begin by spreading a rumor throughout Liu Bei's army. We'll say Liu Bei is only fighting Cao Cao so he can die with honor. The soldiers who hear it will get so scared that they will run away. <laughs> this is the way I see it. It's very clear. Our army still has many areas that need much improvement. I suggest you assign me to troop training duty. Sire, what do you wish us to do? Okay. So, the option I will never pick is spread rumors among enemy troops. We never want to reduce troop numbers, generally speaking, if we're going for max XP. Train troops is kind of interesting here because we have some really terrible generals. Like, they are really, really bad right now. I'm tempted to pick this one over the food, 
But I do know we're going to be in some really difficult situations soon. So I have I have a choice. I can choose to farm to raise supplies to make the battle of I think what was it, Bo Chang Po, where Leo Bay attempts to escape to the south. This will make this that mission less miserable. Train the troops will make the next two missions less miserable. So it's just a judgment call of which one I find more useful. We could, in theory, check to see what troops, what abilities we actually get here, which I think we will do, but I have a feeling I'm going to undo it and just go back to food. So let's just take a look at what we actually get for this. All right, do it. But I am warning you all, do not fail me. Yes, yes sir. sir. If we don't see some crazy ability unlocked, I'm resetting. It's just that simple. Due to my training. These men will become much stronger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Reset time. <laughs> no way, chat. No, no, no. We don't care about war ability. They they need to actually, like, legitimately get abilities off of that. Because <clears throat> if it just comes down to that, we want to keep our morale higher. So, I don't know if I ever really went over that in the first campaign. I guess now's a good time since we're doing some reloading. Uh, the higher your morale is, the less damage you take and the more damage you do. So if you're wondering why we've been steamrolling them, it's just because our morale is good. So instead of getting rather lackluster training there, where again, I was hoping to get an ability out of it since they got experience, uh, we're instead going to increase our supplies. So right now we theoretically have more troops than the enemy, but as we will see in the upcoming battle, that this number is just an absolute lie. Anyway, let's force. Oh, we're forcing them to farm. Oh, so it's we're not even helping them in this one. Oh, that's that 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 sits right with me, chat. We can't be helping the people. Alright, do it. But I am warning you all, do not fail me. Yes, yes sir. sir. The policy of having the exiled people cultivate the fallowed land has become an enormous success. Morale has risen by three. So if you want to think of it this way, chat, the morale bar, I believe, is zero to 100. So we just gained 3% base morale. So we'll take a little bit less damage. And as a rem reminder, the higher morale is, the easier it is to win duels. So this is probably okay. Cao Cao and his army reach a standoff in the fight against Yuan Shao in Guangdu. In the meantime, Liu Bei rallies his forces and advances toward the weakened capital of Zhu Chang. How many have you missed? You probably missed like six or seven stages. I did a lot in one day, so they'll be up on YouTube Cao next few days. Have the faintest idea of what's going on. Perhaps it would be a good idea to tell him. Yes, I will. But where should I begin? And how much should I say? He probably wouldn't believe me even if I did. You bays approaching the capital? Why didn't I already know this? It was supposed to be what? Please forgive me. <laughs> My lord, should we go fight you bay while we're in the middle of battling Yuan Shao? My lord, please, leave it to me! You don't know about fighting. Go away now! <laughs> wow. Lord, please allow me! Kao Ren, your defense is strong, but you can't handle sudden changes. Enough said! Please, my lord, let me go! I'll kill Liu Bei and rid you of the thorn in your side! Hmm. I will not fail you, my lord. Well, after Zun Yu attacks, I will devise a plan to take down Liu Bei. Yes, yes my, lord. my lord! Prepare the troops! What do we do about the battle with Yuan Shao? Jie Hao Yuan, it's up to you. I'm going to take care of Liu Bei. Commence the war council. Report on your situation. Okay, let's review According the strategies. According to the scouting unit's report, the enemy is currently occupying this position. Okay, this... Oh, they even show us... They even show us the enemy's storehouse. I was going to say, because this is almost verbatim what it was before. So we could do a thing where we stall the enemy on purpose and go for their storehouse. It's not the worst idea ever. I mean, all I have to do is get two units around the southern unit, or the, 
westernmost units. Although I noticed in this one, I don't think we have a supply depot. Which is okay, I guess. In this battle, sire, I fear our only chances of winning is by forcing Liu Bei's unit to flee. If my lord has to flee, we will surely lose. We will surely lose, chat. Change your strategies. Sire, if you would, consider this idea. Since it looks as if the enemy is going to attack in two groups, we should divide our army in two. The units of Hu Ji and Cao Ren will strike Wan Yu and Zheng Fei, respectively. I will destroy this bridge so that Liu Bei and his troops will not be able to cross. Then the whole army will crush Wan Yu and Zheng Fei and immediately destroy the enemy's storehouse. As soon as Liu Bei turns back, he will be destroyed. I like the idea of them not reaching our bridge if I'm looking for a full clear. My lord, I too have a splendid idea to share with you. At the most opportune time, Order Eugene to put sleeping potions in the drinking water of Guan Yu and Zheng Fei's units. <laughs> Those brave little warriors who could take on thousands single-handed will be fast asleep and unable to fight. Whilst they see me, we can just flatten Liu Bei with our whole army and create their worst nightmare. <laughs> okay. My lord, which strategy will you have us employ? So the smarter choice would be to just take out Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. I'm trying to decide if I want to greed for experience. Just trying to have an opinion. Like, this one is clearly better. Like, if you just want the battle to end, you take out their most powerful generals, and it's literally a 4v3. So Liu Bei will die within, like, legit, like, five minutes. Because as soon as he goes into the middle of the map, he's done. Because you can just surround him. Or we could try to just do a full wipe. One other thing I, I noticed from uh, reviewing the previous playthroughs is why the numbers fluctuate a little bit after combat. So I think, for example, we get less supplies if the battle goes on too long, which does impact morale. So technically, if I wanted an easier stage 4, I probably would pick this strategy. If I just wanted more experience in general, so that way characters like Hu Zi get an additional attack, or Yujin gets an ability that's actually useful, I should probably go for this one. I mean, I guess I could try to not take the easy way out. Yeah, let's, let's try to not take the easy way out and see what happens. I might end up luring them above our bridge and then just do the cheesy 4v1. We'll see. Yeah, chat says destroy bridge. Let's go. Let's use this strategy. To battle. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Yeah, the other one I think we would win like almost instantly because we could just pick off Leo Bay for free. At least in this one, I stopped them from reaching our supply depot, which is what I was worried about if I was going to mess around. Because that would be a really stupid way to lose the battle and just lose your supply depot. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I'm going to really leave this spot. <laughs> I'm just going to be brutally, brutally honest with you. Now, who is with Cal Ren? Does he have any offensive abilities? They got Rush. Rush and Battle Cry is not bad. This is going to be a kind of a brutal battle. So let's... Let's... My bad, I thought I had this selected. Let's do something like this. Maybe I could get the 2v1 for free. Now the question is, do any of my characters have... Press the wrong button, my bad chat. Do any of the characters have archers? These are all spear... Oh no, I do have archers. Oh. Oh. Well chat, this definitely changes things. So I think I could get full experience to Huzi if I do this correctly. So the way it works for getting assistance with arrows is as long as I have a clean line of sight to the enemy, I should be able to shoot them. 
So if I position them like I'm going to be doing like a, a 2v1, I can instead just pelt them with arrows and free demoralize them and get full XP. I think this is the only right situation. Now the question is, Sao Sao has mostly sorcerers, but are any of those sorcerers archers? No. Now Ren, did you have any archers that I don't remember? You do? Oh no. So wait a minute, chat. So if I position this correctly, and I get Sao Sao blocking the bridge, this means that I can have two archers pelt the enemy, and this means that all the generals get full experience. Because of the way the game does experience, apparently. Oh, that's really cheesy. We're, we're gonna go for max cheese. But I have to stall at least the first battle, so we'll see what happens. So in theory, when it's down to just two people, I might let them cross the bridge completely, just to get the awful 3v1. So yeah, we're, we're gonna go for it. I haven't really had a reason to do it before. As I said before, I didn't think that actually gave them any experience, but apparently I'm just wrong on that, which I'm, o I'm okay with admitting. There's a lot I don't fully understand in this game. Goodbye, bridge. Good, now I don't have to worry about this at all for the rest of the battle. And again, this will make me better prepared for the future. I think I'm honestly like still a little too close. Look how Ren turn around. So we actually have like a lot of units grouped up, which is really good, and we can increase their war ability. So presumably Guan Yu should be coming over this bridge at some point. What? Oh, what are they doing? Why did they rotate like that? Stop that. You know what? I'll just take control manually. This is fine. What do you mean heading for your target location? What are you doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I I thought she was I thought she was like trying to cross the river. I was like, what? Oh, I never checked to see if she had archers. Does she have archers? Everybody has archers? Hmm. So, I think... I think the other people in her unit won't necessarily get experience. I'm trying to I'm trying to understand how it works, so let, let's witness it together. I think at minimum the archer unit can get full experience. I don't think the other unit can get full experience, which I'm okay with. If we just have really good archers... And you know, whatever, who cares? Just a free way to get experience. Because if nothing else, you could view it this way. It's like I'm still doing 1v1s, but I make it easier for myself and I still get more experience than expected. So there's no reason not to go for this. Are they not gonna cross the bridge? I'm gonna feel so sad if they don't cross this bridge, chat. You have no idea. I might even reset if they don't cross the bridge, to be honest with you, because that is a big waste of time. Let's rotate them around. I'm getting worried I still don't see them. We'll hold our ground. But I do feel like we're being trolled. Okay, we'll manually control Cao Cao. So, allegedly, if I do this right... This should mean that I can get all of these characters interfering in whoever crosses the bridge without necessarily engaging with them, which is good. If I do something like this, for example... A little closer... That should be good enough. If anybody goes in the middle, I have a very clear line of shots at the middle. Do you know what I mean? Are they not going to cross this bridge? Or are they just really far away? I thought they were much closer. Well, chat, we get to find out in real time <laughs> whether or not this enemy will cross the bridge, because I honestly don't recall. 
it would be really it would be really sad if Leo Bay crossed the bridge though. Because that would be the opposite intent of the original strategy. Hmm. I mean, then that, that would be one of the dumbest ways to complete the map. Just watch him just kill himself on your unit for no reason. So this character, I don't know if I can have interfere with the battle. Like, maybe if I move Sao Sao over slightly, maybe it's possible to get, like, a 4v1 here. I do, like, if Kalran moves over a little more. Like, we have a really tight formation right now. I'm not sure what'll happen. So I'm gonna move over a little more just in case, no matter what. Oh, stop, 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 stop. There we go. I mean, we're gonna defend this bridge. That's all I'm gonna tell you, Chad. Like, this bridge is very well defended. Oh, what are you, where are you going? Stop, stop, stop. Hold your position. That sounds over a little too far. We almost formed like a squad with our entire army. <laughs> Close. I need to go like, just like a little bit in. That way I've got a clean line of sight. Oh, here they come. I was gonna say, those cowards. There's Yang Fei. He's just really far away, apparently. Yeah, we'll do something like... By the way, chat, can we all just pour one out for Zhang Fei? Because he's about to get absolutely dunked on. We'll back up even just a little more. We, we got time to reposition, chat. We're good. Honestly, it doesn't even really matter who engages. Okay, we made, we made a pretty formation in the upper left. I feel pretty good about this. So the only thing we really need to do is just let them walk forward. And we want to intercept, I think, with Kalren first. Honestly, I kind of want them to go as far forward as they can. So I think that's Guan Yu patiently waiting. <laughs> he, he will go waiting, chat. So yeah, we'll, we'll advance it with Kalren slightly. I don't want them to move out of the bridge, essentially. But I want to make sure they cross before I hit forward. Yeah, we found Guan Yu. He's just he's just waiting. Yeah, we're waiting for this formation to not look like a cluster. That's how you know they're done crossing. Like even though you can see that nobody's on the bridge, we gotta wait for them to do something. Honestly, I don't even think it matters which character engages first. Are we getting arrowed? Or are we arrowing them? Oh, we're arrowing them right now. That's funny. Okay, good. And he engaged the person I wanted to engage. So I don't think they got far enough to cross the bridge. Alright, so we want to battle cry them eventually. I don't think Guan Yu could get across the bridge. If he can, we're in trouble. The strategy failed. That is a lot of people. I think we were shooting at him while he was crossing. I saw some arrow up. There are arrows from somebody. I'll put it that way, Chad. Now that basically just cleaved their whole army, which is kind of nice. Wow, the stragglers getting extra hits. Oh, that's so unfair. That's so unfair, because we get more hits out of that. I think we can all agree Guan Yu just got, or Zhang Fei, I mean, just got dunked. So while this is happening, let's see if Huzi and friends are shooting. Are you shooting? You are. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. We're getting the cheesy experience now, chat. There we go. <laughs> so they should get experience from this. So all I got to do is hold the line, really. So their morale should plummet because we're just shooting them constantly. Wait your turn, Guan Yu. Exactly. I wish we had one more war ability here that did damage. 
So eventually we'll need to substitute who out who's tanking. But just due to the fact that we have so many archers pelting them, they should just lose morale constantly, even with their super unit, as we're seeing here. I eventually want, uh, you know what I could do? I want to, let's bring in her. The reason I want to send them to battle, she's got battle cry and that does crush morale. All we're looking to do is crush morale. Let's come in. I probably could have brought her into combat first, as I said before, before doing the war ability, but I, I got a little excited. So let's go ahead and just get a little closer. Just like a tiny bit closer. Uh, that feels pretty good. Hang on, we're just looking to lower their defenses. This should make them die faster, even though I sent my archers into battle. Yeah, see, so put them in red automatically. Look, look at our own morale. Battle cry is so good. So if Yujin ends up getting a useful ability or Cal Ren gets a useful ability, this would be huge for us. So I know at least one general is assisting in this combat, which is good. One, you just has to watch Zhang Fei die right in front of him. If only he did something, chat. And the best part is Zhang Fei is the one that has the archer unit, so we're not even getting punished for this. Because, like, technically I think they can shoot from their bridge side to hit me, but, uh, oops, they attack with their archer first. Anyway, he's dead. Do that. Oh yeah, we now know Leo Fei is almost back at his storehouse, which we don't care about anymore. So next up, I want to probably intercept with Huzi. Give our other generals some time to collect themselves. So we'll move a little further forward. We'll back up slightly with Cal Ren. Uzi will move just a teeny tiny bit forward. So you we're gonna move slightly closer. Uzi, we're gonna have move like just a teeny tiny bit forward. And Cal run a little bit backwards. Go! So again, we're just getting free archer damage. We know we got time to reposition because they take forever. Let's cancel her movement. No, 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 cancel, cancel. There we go. I'm gonna make sure with Huzi we move more to the sides. We're able. Is that way the other character. Oh, we're not able to enter. Okay. To keep in mind, every one of these units has archers. All we gotta do is rotate so we don't get back attack, because that'd be a really stupid way to lose. And we just slightly move forward with Huzi, and then we're good. So we're just rotating to get into combat position. The enemy general is almost ready to cross. Looks like they just crossed. So we'll intercept with Huzi here, I think. There we go. I'm, I probably could have held still, because they actually targeted Huzi for myself, so that was kind of convenient. Um, only got two abilities here. But, uh, I got really bad news for them. They don't have Iron Wall, and I feel like being a monster, so... Good luck with them. Oh, there's such a juicy number of people over there. Let's, let's reposition. Oh, yeah, there we go. There, there's, there's the payload. Right, chat? Oh, oh. Sure, it would be a shame if they lined up with within the upper quadrant. No, I, I might even back up just like a teeny bit more. We got time. Oh, don't do that. Just like one step backwards. There we go. I think this will hit them more cleanly. Yeah, there we go. This should this should be devastating, chat. Just keep in mind they don't usually hit right in front of me. They hit towards the outer edges of meteor shower. 
Meteor Shower also tends to recover quicker than everything else. Oh boy, and we got this one. This is going to be destructive to them. Look at how well lined up that was. Oh man, that is going to kill so many units, chat. Wow. So we just improved our spell ability. He's already got pretty solid spell ability. All right, so let's... Let's observe. Are we shooting arrows? Doesn't seem like we are. Oh, we are. Oh, yeah. There we go. Maximum cheese, chat. How about it's on you? Are you shooting arrows? She might not. She's in kind of a weird... Everybody's shooting arrows. Is Sal Sal shooting arrows? I don't know who our arrow unit is. Do we not have one with him? I forget. We might not. That's fine. Eventually, we'll make Husi back up, and we'll put Sal Sal where Husi is. So I might as well just bully them, right? Oh, they're so spread out. Unfortunate. Yeah, they should be losing morale rapidly. We could get Hugh Z and Sal Sal to swap. We're in a good spot. Keep in mind this entire time, we're stalling for uh, Cal Ren to get his ability back. So we have three generals that will tank things. Oh, I saw the mountainside. It confused me for a second. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to use Rush here. Oh, he rallied? What a jerk. Of my army. Uh, I think now we have now it forces our hand. I think we have to worry ability here. We're gonna lose too many troops. We we gotta demoralize them. Like we're already pelting them with arrows, but we need to keep our troop count relatively high. Let's go for this. It won't level up our war ability, but I'm just using it to destroy their morale. They don't have enough troops to level morale and or our war ability, unfortunately. You can see that we killed basically their entire front line, and towards the end of it, we still hit a couple of them. Oh, the straggler getting the cheesy double hits. Oh, that's so good for us. Anytime a straggler happens, it's just more hits. Wow, they're they're actually done. <laughs> Chats, tell them to sit down. It's over. <laughs> look at that. Look at that troop count. They're getting hit by arrows this whole time, chat. This is getting embarrassing. I'm gonna be so mad if he raids, to be honest with you. Like, he's so close to dead. There's so few people, I can't even hit them with our charge. There's like four people left, legit. Yeah, you can see his morale plummeting. Now we need to swap Poozie and, and Sal Sal, and I think we're in a good spot. So we, we've been sharing at least the main XP to most of the people that need to actually have it, which is nice. Cheng Yu getting stronger magic is also good. He's already pretty powerful, it looks like. We just need to give him more experience to get more spells. Which, as we can see, he, uh... He can definitely destroy people as long as they don't have Iron Wall. There we go. Right. So let's try to back up, if we're able to. And nothing else we can intercept with Calrun. It's not a big deal. I mean, I guess it's good that I put Sao Sao back here, I guess, maybe. Ting Yun learned hail, nice. This is what we was talking about, nice. Just makes him even better for later. Let's see if I could move over slightly for them. Perfect. Oh, this worked out wonderfully. Oh, chat, that's not even fair. Chat, this isn't even fair. Th this is th this is now actually just AI abuse. 
<laughs> Look at the ring. The ring is formed, Chad. Okay, tell him to turn around. We got time to fix this. So she should just interfere for free, as I said before. And now we just need to make sure Sal Sal is slightly further forward than the others, so we'll move him forward at this point. Keep in mind, he still has Himiko and stuff like that, so he could just very easily dunk these enemies. Alright, what we're gonna do, we're gonna check on... Let me Kuzi stay right about there. How about Kalren? Oh, I can't see it on that menu. I have to do it on this one. Did you learn? Did you get any abilities back? I got rushed back already? And battle cry? Wow. Oh, chat, we're just gonna musical chairs them. <laughs> Listen, only one person can be in the spot at the end. So I guess we'll have Sal Sal take this one and then we just go back to Sal Ren. Chat, this is actually just gross. Just want you to know, actually gross. Oh, are you fighting Sal Ren first? That's fine. Move Sal Ren further forward to intercept. I mean, I'm okay with this. As you saw earlier, Chad, I, I have everything I need. Ready. You do your you do no, you, Sal Yun. <laughs> This is going to be brutal for them. I would like Sal Sal to get a teeny tiny bit of experience, though. We still have Mei and Liu Bei. But we have more opportunities for sure. Oh, it's just leading me into... Uh, go into battle. I'm going to War Cry first into the super devastating ability. And see how bad that is for the morale. Come on, game. Come on. That is so many troops that could get hit by this. Okay, so let's look at his morale, chat. We're gonna move slightly further forward, and this should be brutal. You show no mercy, but... So we hit basically two and a half squads. All right, that didn't damage their morale too badly, but that does make this part easier. Which again, I'm curious if morale also impacts the special war commands damage. It might. We're just gonna form a rush. Oh, there's so many more people up there. We gotta go for the other one. That is so many people. Yeah, I think I gotta go just a little further forward. I think it's worth it. Yeah, that's definitely worth it. Oh, I should have angled them a little more than I did. I did okay with the angling. Oh, the straggler? The straggler making up for it? Okay, thank you, straggler. That's gonna be a war ability up then. No mercy. No mercy? Yeah, they're getting no mercy. So our war ability is just skyrocketing right now. And now you can see our morale is maxed, so they're just getting dunked right now. Look at that troop loss from their side. Holy. Our morale is finally winning at the top, by the way. That was devastatingly horrible for them. Don't think he could come back from this. We're barely taking damage as is. I mean, he could rampage here, which would be very annoying. So I am charging repeatedly to hopefully kill him. So yeah, that's about as one-sided as it could get. Wow, my morale is still max. I'm really hoping Cal Ren at least gets like a rally later and Eugen gets an attack ability. That would be my ideal scenario. Cal Ren seems like a very tanky general. So like, I want him to be more defensive, but I'm really hoping Eugen gets like a, a raid or something. I know he'll never get duel from what I remember. Cal Ren getting duel would also be huge. 
I'd actually prefer... Yeah, if he got duel, I think it would be perfect. Because then I could duel with Cal Ren and finish off any enemy unit. Yeah, I think we want duel on one of our characters. But we'll see if the game gives it to us. As a reminder, chat, Zalyon is getting absolutely wrecked right now by uh, Eros. And I think that might be Mei coming up next. Again, look at our morale, look at the enemy morale. Even if they do a special attack here, it doesn't matter. Keep in mind, we still haven't used our strategist in battle, Zuyu. But hey, I'm okay with leveling four generals at once. I mean, that, that's a lot of experience. I'm just going to charge repeatedly. I just want to kill them before they can do anything. Even if Mei somehow crosses when I'm not expecting her to, it shouldn't really matter at this point. The only thing... Oh, right at the end. That's unlucky. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, that's a little bad. Ooh, he's so bad at raid chat. Oh, he's so bad at it. Oh, come on. I'm outnumbering him like 14 to 1. That's nothing. Okay, we... He did like 500 troop damage at most. There's no way. Yeah, he did it in the middle of nowhere. Oh, wow. He couldn't even do 200. That's embarrassing. I'll mash X anyway. In case I somehow got demoralized by his show of valor. <laughs> yeah, I think it's over for him. GG. GG Zalyun. You tried. You used your ability. We managed to get our ability back, which is interesting. That's Warcry. I could kill them with Warcry. Again, we're feeding a lot of experience to the other characters. So let's go feed uh, Sal Sal some experience. And yeah, Maze up next. Do I have Iron Wall on this team? I actually don't. Hmm. I actually don't want to do that then. I think. Uzi, I don't remember if she does or not. I know Cal Ren does. But her abilities are not back up yet. I think I actually just tank again with Cal Ren here. Until she uses her magic ability, that is. So keep in mind, we're recharging magic this whole time. Cal Ren le learned a new ability. Nice, nice. Cal Ren learned Rally. Okay, there we go. He's getting a little better, Chad. This will help, because our morale will not be super great. So if we could just iron wall her magic, then we can have anybody else finish off. So we're, we're gonna fish for a magic approval. As a reminder, even though Cal Ren doesn't learn magic himself, it does increase his defense against magic attacks in case I run out of Iron Wall. If you're wondering what the purpose of using Iron Wall is. On like non-magic users. So again, the longer they take, the more likely we are to recover our other abilities. So Battle Cry's already back up. Rush can't be too far behind. From what I've noticed, Foot Soldiers tend, I think they're coming right towards us again. I guess they always behave the same way. I guess I'm close enough as Cal Ren, or Sal Ren, excuse me. Talking like the game is for a second. So it's just Leo Bay left. Not sure when she's gonna get her charge back is the problem. So we're basically just waiting for them to try to do something crazy. Um, let's go into battle. The reason I want to do this, I want to keep her morale low and our morale high. Do notice her morale is tanking even though she has the troop advantage? That's because the other archers are shooting at her. But I want to make sure in case she pops a duel... Oh, we're about to get our charge back. This is actually perfect timing for it. So now, in case a duel is initiated, I'm now much more likely to win. Yeah, that's much better. We still have the advantage here. I want to charge their archers at some point. I'm kind of thinking about it. Or I could just kill their foot soldiers here. It's a lot of dots either way. Let let's kill their foot soldiers. Attack! Let 
This will also improve her war ability, which is nice. Well, John, I think it's safe to say we basically cleaved the front line. Oh, it was enough to get a war ability. I wasn't sure. It was, like, questionable. So if she tries to duel at this point, it's just over. So we have the morale advantage. It'd be very foolish if she did it. Oh, yeah, see that? Look at that chat. I forced her archers to engage, so now she can't use her other ability. Oh, that's so abusable. <laughs> Oh no, wait a minute. Archers. Look at this. See, they're all like confused. Oh, that's too sick. Yeah, we just took. Oh, nice. Iron wall time. Nice. Exactly what I was looking for. Nice try. John, I think we could call this a hard counter. What do you think, chat? Hard counter? I, I have more iron walls. Go ahead. Level my abilities. I don't even know who did Iron Wall. Maybe it's Sal Ren first. Either way, this is brutal. Oh, Yujin did it. Nice. I actually prefer Yujin to get it, because Yujin's most likely going to split into his own unit at some point. So yeah, I think I think this is just over, straight up. Um, you know what? Just to make us more unkillable, I'll just rally us. Hello, Count Visha. Thanks for the alert. So we just reduced how much damage we did. Wow, this is just... Chat, this is getting embarrassing for them. Lua Lua can't use volley because I... Oh, wait. I think she can now. Hold on, chat. We gotta go interfere with volley. She's slowly reforming the squad. Yeah, we can't have that. <laughs> Just slap the units, it's fine. So her units aren't even attacking at all anymore. They're just getting run over by me. <laughs> this is not fair, chat. So we lost a little bit of morale, but it's fine. The rate at which she's losing it is so much greater than ours. Dude, we haven't had to combine our forces at all. Just the power of just having many archers. The morale is just sinking so fast. Like, again, they don't have to do a lot of damage. Are we seriously going to get Battle Cry back again? Wow. It should shout at her archers. Assert dominance, chat. There we go, chat. We're, we're harassing the archers as usual. Yeah, Battle Cry seems to recover pretty quickly. And the fact that all we want to do is lower the morale, I'm okay with this. <laughs> wow. Goodbye. Alright, so now we just need... I feel bad for Zun Yu. We should probably use her. It's not like she has terrible characters. Yeah, I think she needs to come in. I'm aware Leo Bay probably has at least one iron wall. How many iron walls does he have? Wow, I wish I had Battle Cry at that point in the game. Oh, it's just one? Okay, that's fine then. So, Cao Cao didn't do anything in this fight. Just PS, by the way. He was just there for, like, moral support, I guess. So we'll let Zon Yu stand still for now. But we need her to intercept. I want to give her some experience. She's got generals with, like, literally nothing. So it would be nice if they got an ability at some point. So Sal Ren getting Rally does help. Especially to counter, the, like, the confusion. Because keep in mind, chat, the next couple of battles... ...are mostly things like... 
getting ambushed in the forests. If you remember, we're one stage away from the let's put mines in the main path. Remember that, chat? Which has me curious, if I choose the main path as our assault, but then I don't go to the main path, does that dodge the mines? I'm kind of curious. Let's move slightly further over. Again, they might iron wall us once, but it's not too bad. I need you to turn around. Uh, Sal Sal, you can just do whatever. I don't even think it matters anymore. I'm trying to position her so she's a more tempting target than the other characters. Not that it really matters at this point. I could just back up and let them come out. Is he really going for Salren? Wow, what a jerk chat. <laughs> they really hate Salren. I think I, I think I had to interfere with that. So he'll resist one, but then we could really dunk him. That means probably okay. Let's see Salren, are you able to interfere? I'm assuming so. We'll check in a little bit. Move we'll Sal Sal over here. Uzi could just technically go like a little further forward, I guess. So let's try to proc some magic now that she's moved forward. Um, we're still gonna aim it as though it's gonna hit. Wow, that is so many potential targets. Are they moving in or oh, they are? Wow. Um. If this is allowed, this is gonna be so devastating. Let me go slightly more to the left, I think. Something like this would be the better. All right, let's see if this is allowed. He didn't iron wall this? What a fool. Chat, what a fool. What an absolute fool. Well, there goes most of his army, chat. What a fool. I don't know why he didn't defend that, to be honest with you. He probably should have. I charged the wrong direction. That's so sad. Turn around. Very cool, I agree. I mean, like, if he's not going to use, like, his major ability, that's not my fault. Uh, that'll hit an okay number. It's always weird with Hail. Hail Field's always kind of subpar compared to the other spells. I guess I'll try this. She still did an Iron Wall. What an idiot. I don't think this will magic up me. But on the plus side, I did magic up her for the future. So even with generals with no abilities, this is pretty over. I mean, at this point, why not just use all my abilities? <laughs> right, Chad? I mean, like, if, if he's not gonna Iron Wall, right? I'll charge, like, one more time to get into position for Iron Wall. Or not Iron Wall, for Meteor Shower. And hopefully not Iron Wall, but we'll see. Wow, fail. Chat, fail AI. <laughs> I can't believe he just let me do that. <laughs> Think about Dao Chan too much to Iron Wall, you're right. This is brutal for them. So again, we're not going to get a lot of kills off of this. I'm just looking to force the battle. Wow, that actually hit their front line pretty much perfectly. That's devastating to them. Wow. Devastating. So we used all of our abilities. Eugen and Lidian don't have anything. Now we're going to feed them some experience. And more importantly, Junyu will get more troops. 
But even if he rallies and battle cries here, it, I don't think it matters. We're outnumbering him too much for this to matter. And as I said before, we can always just gain morale by just mashing and surrounding him. Yeah, that did like nothing to our morale. I think he's just too far behind at this point for it to matter. Keep in mind, he's still confused a little bit. Our war ability is not as good. It's unfortunate. Uh, let's see if they've been interfering with the fight. How about you, Salred? Are you shooting arrows? Got an ability back? You are. So again, this is just free damage on the enemy. And that should demoralize them. That's all I wanted to see. So Leo Bay could rally here. It would stall the battle out pretty significantly. I'm hoping he doesn't use it. As you can see, he's very, very outnumbered and he's getting pelted with arrows. That should just be GG. Hopefully he will not rally and stall this out like another minute. Okay, look, looking definitive here. Nice. The enemy general has been defeated. We've won. I think we spread out our XP pretty well. Also, no see how do on that battle, I noticed. But oh well. I think we did good there. Taste the strength of my army. Victory! Lord, Cao Hong has returned from conquering Zhu. What is the outcome? The citizens of Ju have submitted. No one wants the Han Empire to be restored. Next, let's take down Liu Bei! Don't underestimate him. Don't stop until you take him down and kill him. I'm here to report that our army is strong and our country prospers from the spoils of war. War strength increase, nice. Supplies only went up a little bit because we did take a while. Military skills going up by six. That's that's more important to me, chat. <laughs> please, please get something nice. Okay, our horse unit for Sao Sao improved. Himiko became tanky or does more damage now, so use better. Light spear, nice. Ooh. Oh, Chad, everybody's getting the upgrades. Oh. That is pretty good. So all of our main all of our main units there just improved. I'm sized though. So let's see what's next for us.